It just doesn't make sense. Ghanaians are doing a road trip from Accra to London. Now, some of our own Ghanaians are writing that eh, Nigerians are not supporting. When Hilda Bassi was doing, Ghanaians were supporting. They were tweeting about it. But this is the issue. Your Ghanaian celebrity is quiet about his fellow Ghanaian doing a charity trip from Accra to London. So if this, your own celebrity, is refusing to speak about it, how do you then expect a Nigerian celebrity to hear and also re-echo it for you as an African brother? Excuse me. DJ Paco Rich. Hello, people. Hello, people. My name is DJ Paco Rich. Welcome to the channel. And I know the whole Africa is locked on here. It's been a while that, you know, we had this great conversation right here. I know my people in Nigeria call me Mazi. Others too, they call me Otumba. In the house part and not in part, some they call me Siriki. And the title keeps coming in and, you know, I mean, I need to take my time and arrange the titles and make good use of it. But today, there is a great conversation right here on this desk. I'm sure you might have come across this news trending in Ghana about 13 Ghanaians, you know, making a road trip from Accra to London. I know Whiskey, to ha uh, whiskey used to have something we call Lagos to London, yes. But this is Accra to London. Um, there are certain concerns. I mean, some Ghanaians have raised concerns. You know, there is nothing that Ghana would do that they would never have anything to do with Nigeria. That conversation would definitely come in because <laughs> it has been there from the 80s, 70s, and now it is still there. So I'm going to tell you what is making waves about this whole issue, why Nigerian even came into the picture. And so stick right here don't flip your channel i mean this is your favorite channel i know you love it so um we're going to have a discussion with one of our media guys here in ghana he's called eric tosca i mean this guy he's been a stage manager of some big events not too long ago and the president and the second ladies and all those guys were there so you now he's uh, that has added some rank to his shoulder. So, in a red shoulder small, but we go humble him. <laughs> and so, guys, if you're ready, we're going to have a conversation with this guy. This is the whole thing. We saw Hilda Bassi doing a cookathon. And then we saw how Nigerian celebrities went in to support Hilda Bassi. Not only people that went to the venue, but even with their social media platform, they created awareness. And you see, once you start doing something and start gaining mileage or gaining some attention, then you have great companies, great brands coming together to support what you're doing. So we saw what Nigerian celebrities did for Hilda Bassi. Ghanaians came in there to support held the bassy giving Ghanaian celebrities you know who were all watching the videos and were supporting they did that you understand now we have Ghanaians doing something which is not on the norm like yo we don't do this all the time they are driving from Accra to London and on the streets on the internet we were supporting them but we are not singing much from our Ghanaian celebrities in other school of thought, other people are also rolling in in that, yeah, when Nigeria, Hilda Bassi was doing, Ghanaians were supporting Hilda Bassi. And this time, they are not seeing Nigeria. That's a lie. Nigerians are supporting. Personally, I can confirm Vanguard News Online. When you go, it's boldly there, about 13 Ghanaians, um, you know, beginning a 10 kilometers road trip from Accra to London. That's a Nigerian website, yes. And I keep on telling people that if you cannot blow your trumpet well for it to sound loud in, and sweet in somebody's ears, that person won't come and support. So do it nice, make it attractive, and Nigeria will come and support. That's my own you know, position. 
But Eric made an interesting post on Facebook. And I felt this makes sense a lot. And I'm going to read that to you. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. And after that, I'll put him on the line. We're going to have this conversation. It's going to be a long day, but we definitely have to have it. And so this is what Eric said. How many Ghanaian celebrities congratulate the Wadalast Accra to London law? Flip the coin and you will hear shouts and support your own, support your own, blah, 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 blah. Don't come and tell me they are not heard or seen in this achievement. Get big hype everywhere. I just heard two old men talking about it at my favorite fufu joint. So um, the whole image that he's trying to paint is that most Ghanaian musicians, actors and actresses always call for support your own. But I personally have made this observation that they only say that when they need it. So it's kind of selfish people with entitlement. You understand? And if it was Nigerians or Nigerians that were doing this trip from Lagos to London, would have seen the bars from the Banner Boys and the Davidos and all that. So I'm going to bring um, Eric on board so that we ask him the motivation behind this post. Okay? Eric, how are you doing? I'm good, bro. Yourself? Not bad. Um, I hope everything is doing well in our crowd. Like, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is well here. The weather is calm like London. <laughs> we are feeling the London in our crowd. That's great. So, Eric, um, I saw this post of yours and I felt it needed some attention. You are kind of painting a picture that our Nigerian brothers or celebrities would have made a lot of noise if these guys doing this road trip from Accra to London were doing Lagos to London. Nigerians would have made bars. But our own celebrities, because maybe they are not really directly benefiting anything from that, they are quiet. Why that post? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did, I did a post. I did a post like that. So basically, I was just, I went with my favorite food joints this afternoon when I got there in a queue, not like a queue, it was some, a little crowd. I had two men, quite old, talking about this wanderlust Ghana guys, the, the, the guys who drove, who drove from Accra to London. So they actually arrived today. So when I heard them, I was like, wow, this, it is it is on the grounds also it is not just on social media people are talking about it everywhere and i've heard um kwami sefa can talk about it on his radio morning show so i was like okay then this 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 is something big then i was like ah but these guys these men standing there i saw one holding a yam like the phone the man was using isn't a smartphone so obviously it might be word after word that has reached to him or he may have heard it on traditional media so i was like ah, okay so this is all of these people know it then i realized then i started thinking so what have we done as Ghanaians collectively to promote this then i then i realized our celebrities i missed out in this because almost every the average Ghanaian is talking about it. The radio presenters, the TV presenters, they are also doing their best. Social media people, social media influencers, and those who have quite some following on social media are also doing their best. But then our celebrities, the big guys, those we claim represent Ghana, the faces or the ambassadors of Ghana are silent on this they are li literally quiet about it they are missing us on this and these are the same guys who if we should flip the coin if any of them should do something outside ghana even in ghana something of the, any of them should do anything remarkable and there should be less congratulatory messages from Ghanaians. you see them shouting that Ghanaians don't support their own Ghana don't like us because i'm not appreciative of what we do for them putting the work and we don't see any support from them then i remembered hilda Bassi just recently 
did her cookathon, 100 hours cookathon, and almost half of Nigerian celebrities, like known stars, not just celebrities, like famous people in quotes, were there to support her. Yes, it was done in, she did it in Nigeria. She did it at a place, so it will be easy for people to show physical support, as in them going there to support her. But then, we saw other people, we saw other celebrities tweet and post on their time on their social media handles to show support. And all this time, she didn't see it too, because she, she, she was not using her phone, she was just doing her thing yeah. within that period of her cooking. But then they had to do it and let their followers know that this is happening and and uh, uh, Nigerian is doing something great and we must support it, we must show some support. And this actually helped in the news and the, in the news, it helped in it spreading wide across the world and even everywhere, every part of the world. Celebrities are, are amplifiers. They are ambassadors. Yeah. If you should do something and celebrities should post or endorse it, it will get a wider range because they have mass flowing. They have people who listen to them. They have people who idolize them. They have people who want to be like them. They have media outlets following them, international media outlets following them, looking at what they post next. So let's say a BBC, a country's BBC, not just a British Broadcasting Corporation, but let's say a BBC of a Ghana, we have GBC, so let's say an, um, a Ugandan BBC hasn't heard of what these Wanderlust guys are doing. And one of them follow any Ghanaian community, any uh, Ghanaian um, celebrity on on IG or something. And this, and this celebrity posted. Definitely, they will say it and they will create news of it in their country as the foreign news, just as we do here. We do foreign news here and we talk about it. We talk about what happened in other countries. Definitely. Five out of ten will do it. Well, it is something you can hardly ignore driving from Accra to London. It's something, and you would want to read more about it and how it happened. Yeah. And information about it is online. Blogs, local blogs, and everything has reported about it. So they are just amplifiers. If they should have their voice to it, it will go wider range, wider. Just amplify. And this is like, and when it gets there, it, it, it gets there, there's a remarkable fit, gets into the news. If you should go anywhere, somebody will, can ask you about it. Oh, we had a, a group of Ghanaians who drove from Ghana to like London. And it's, it will just be beautiful to hear something like that. If you are, if you follow this Wonderland guys, they said when they got to Morocco, they, they met a policeman and the policeman asked them where they are coming from and they mentioned Ghana and the policeman was like, I bet the police Ghana and they were like, yeah. And this policeman was on a motorbike on his siren and gave them a convoy like straight to a border. They skipped queues like uh, traffic, sorry, they skipped traffic straight to a border. This is what a popular name could do for them in outside Ghana. This is the same th if they should also be there in that same situation. You can, they could have also used the Abedipele name or something to help themselves. Yeah. I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get it. If this news, should, if this news should get wider, if this, if you meet, if you are somebody who really meets foreigners on the daily, but not on the daily regularly, you meet foreigners on the regularly, and you try to have a conversation with them they kind of bring up things they've heard about Ghana or they've heard in the news, they've heard on social media, our traditions and everything, or what they've read about it, trying to bring it up. This is a contemporary news. This is something this is something that will interest everyone across the world. Sure, sure. Will interest everyone across the world. If our celebrities would just put in a voice, it will be big. And if the celebrity, actually if the celebrity does it, it goes back to a plastic celebrity because 
Definitely, if Sakodia should tweet, I'm not saying I'm not using Sakodia since Sakodia has not tweeted. It's, it's a big brand known everywhere. Yes, if Sakodia should tweet, if Sakodia should tweet or post on IG to congratulate this guy, yeah. definitely a media, a local media house will report Sakodia congratulates this and that, and it adds to you, it adds to your image, it adds to your whatever you are doing here. It gives you some mileage down here. Yeah. But then, but then, the, but then, but then, you feel our celebrities are not doing, but we still, <laughs> we still have Ghanaians here who expect Nigerians to do that for us. <laughs> I have had that conversations. Yeah. That your own celebrities are not doing it for your people, but yes. you expect somebody in his country to do it. I'm sure yes. most of Ghanaian celebrities who rallied behind Helda Bassi. They saw this tweet from Nigerian celebrities. You understand? Exactly. So let exactly. your celebrities do the work, and other celebrities will, you know, pick it up for Follow. Them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sarkodia is cool with maybe um, MI. So he sees uh, Sarkodia talking about some great thing Ghanaians are doing. And MI will definitely support Stoneboy and the video are cool. Stoneboy post it. Um, the video will also come in to support and all that, you know. And exactly endless you know so i think your point is very 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 well made and i, I think i agree with you 100 percent and would encourage our musicians our stars our actors footballers to sometimes partake in some of these things since they are the ones that always call us to support them you do unto others as the way you want others to do unto you to do unto you the way and manner you want people to support you, you should also support people's project. And I think they are doing this for a good cause because there's a charity brain behind it. You understand? And this is not something you have to sleep over it. So we are doing our quarter. The bloggers, the media, the influencers are doing. But if the celebrities are not adding their voices, then next time when they are doing something and everybody is sleeping on them, they have to keep quiet because they don't do it yeah. for others. And so they shouldn't expect anything from other pe people. So, brother, yeah. thank you yeah. for your contribution and your time. I mean, this is just a straightforward conversation. We didn't want to listen. Yeah. Thanks for hosting me, too. Yes. So, um, we would urge you to enjoy your Sunday. We we'll definitely do this another time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, too. All right, guys, so we've been speaking to Eric. Eric is a media guy here in Ghana. And this is the observation that he made. It just doesn't make sense. Ghanaians are doing a road trip from Accra to London. Now, some of our own Ghanaians are writing that eh, Nigerians are not supporting. When Hilda Basi was doing, Ghanaians were supporting. They were tweeting about it. But this is the issue. Your Ghanaian celebrity is quiet about his fellow Ghanaian doing a charity trip from Accra to London. So if this, your own celebrity, is refusing to speak about it, how do you then expect a Nigerian celebrity to hear and also re-echo it for you as an African brother? Excuse me. Sometimes let's be real with ourselves. And let us not tickle ourselves all the time and laugh. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. It's more like almost our Ghanaian celebrities always want people to do things that they themselves are not willing to do for other people. And that is not fair. Even sometimes award shows and radio stations complain about them because when they are even going for interviews and they do flyers for them, they don't want to post it. All oh, feeling big and bossy, but it's a win-win. You do it for me, I do it for you, and we all win and we are all satisfied. So this is a wake-up call. I'm not doing this to blast anybody, but it is just a quick reminder to let everybody know that we all have our roles to play in building this whole thing we all want getting to make African a better place for entertainment, 
You understand what I'm saying? My name is Mazi Park or Rachel Tumba. Um, keep watching this video. Let me know what you also think about it. You can send your correlations message to these guys. They've done all the trip from Accra to London and now they are there successfully. They went with Ghanaian registered, registered cars. There's another bit I wouldn't want to touch because I don't have much information. That a Ghanaian automobile company refused to support them with their cars. It would have been a big like yo deal for them if their cars were able to make it to that trip from Accra to London, a Ghanaian made car. But as at why they refused, we don't know. Yes, on the other side, it could be dangerous to if they gave them a car and their car failed them. It would have been a bad press for them. It's two ways. So let's think about it. Let me know what you think. My name is DJ Paco Rich, and this is your favorite channel. Big ups to everyone watching. <laughs>